Folks, at the end of this video, we're going to announce our snow pusher winner from our January giveaway. So stick around for that. And soon we're going to have a new contest that you can enter. So subscribe to be notified. Going to talk about money today, folks, and money in a few different senses of the word. You know, one, let's take a look back and see how inflation has changed tractor prices over the last three years. I did a video about three years ago exactly, right before the pandemic started with, this is the slowest time of year to sell tractors. And so I ran a sale, discounted some prices, had some fun with it. There was some crazy good deals. I mean, they were crazy good deals back then. And just to think how much prices have gone up in the last three years, I'm curious, we'll, we'll take a look at these, but let us know if you bought a tractor recently, how much did you pay for the same or a similar setup? But then I wanna to talk to you about 0% financing as well. There's sometimes catches, there's sometimes not. And it, it oftentimes sounds too good to be true, but it does rein in a lot of folks. Back when I sold a lot of tractors, that was, I think my main competition was, do I, as a customer, do I buy this used tractor, you know, at, a, at either paying all cash or at a higher interest rate for used equipment because they don't offer 0% for used equipment, or do I go to John Deere or Kubota or whoever and get 0% financing on my new tractor? Okay, so we'll start off with a 0%. We're gonna talk about the tractors, take a quick look back here at, at seeing how crazy good these deals were. Then I wanna follow up at the end with how a traditional 0% financing works with most tractor dealerships. So I just started offering 0% financing in the true sense of the word, 0% APR financing. And of course, there's always qualifications. You still have to be credit worthy in order to qualify for that. And the, the term length for 0% financing is gonna be dependent on the dollar amount that you buy. So if you buy a higher dollar amount, then you're gonna qualify for a longer 0% term. So I don't offer that on tractors. I don't sell tractors anymore, but I do sell tractor attachments. And you know, I kind of transitioned. I made a whole video about this, why I got out of the tractor game. And, and some of that's gonna be related to when we talk about these used tractor prices in just a minute. But it's just got, it got out of control with inflation and I, I couldn't reliably determine how much a used tractor should sell for or how much I should buy one for to resell. But with attachments, they're all brand new, okay? So it's a little bit um, more baseline there with the, the accurate prices of what they should sell for. It's a lot larger market as well, right? I mean, with selling used tractors, it's a, it's a fraction of that market, but if you sell attachments, then you're opening it up to not just the folks looking for a tractor now, but all those folks that have a tractor already. So my 0% financing, I feel like is about as, as true to what that can be in the real sense of the word. There's not hidden fees out there. And when you go to apply for it, it's a simple process, it's gonna tell you what your payment's gonna be. It's gonna show you if you're paying interest or not, right? Because if you're not credit worthy, then there's gonna be an option for interest on that. Or if it's a really low price point on something, then there is interest charge there. So how this works is it's a higher fee taken from my earnings, right? So if I sell you something, they're taking a higher percentage from, from what they're going to pay out to me. And they're going to keep that for themselves to recuperate that 0% interest. And so I'm trying this out as a, as kind of a trial period. It's not right now, it's not going to be permanent. I'm going to see how it works. I need to see if it's worthwhile. You know, if you can, if it generates more sales, you know, that's, that's the idea, right? Is if I can get more sales it kind of offsets that higher fee that I'm being charged versus offering an interest bearing loan to you guys, which I'm charged a lower fee. So I'm going to tell you how this varies from the traditional like tractor dealership, 0% financing a little bit later on, but now let's take a look back at those tractor prices from three years ago. I'm curious to see what you guys think. If you're shocked by just how cheap they were back then compared to what they might be now. We are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden. We're big on safety on this channel. These tractors are just too light and tippy right out of the factory. Not only is it gonna help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of RimGuard include being the heaviest all natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not gonna corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not gonna freeze and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at RimGuardSolutions.com. Okay, so when we go through these, maybe leave a comment with how much you would have paid today for that same setup or how much you did recently pay for that setup just so we can have a, a data point there in, in real time. So this is from January 2020. So base the age of these tractors based on that date. All right. So like a two year old tractor from then or a three year old tractor from that that point right there in time. OK, so 2017 John Deere 3046R factory cab 82 hours front end loader, belly mower and a snowblower, the big 59 inch snowblower. Let's see what I marked that one down to. Oh, honestly. 
I'm not sure that I can get these words out on this one. 3046R. It was 44999. I encourage you to shop this price new for this whole package that I'm going to tell you about. Oh boy. You ready? 39999. Yeah, that's $5,000 off. Oh boy, this one might not make the cut. That's insane. There is no way you could get that for anywhere near 40 grand today. Next up, 2017 4052R. All right. Has a loader on it, open station, 106 hours, two rear remotes. Those kinds of things add value, okay? I always look for like air IC, rear remotes, third function, factory cabs, of course. What did I mark this one down to? Okay, 4052R. Yep. We had this one at uh, 30999 Oh, I'm gonna be sick. And now we're doing 27999 Yeah, I'm serious. Right there, can you read that? 27999 $3,000 off. You know what? Maybe I should have just held onto these things as an investment for a few years. I could have made a pretty good return. Next up, a John Deere 4044M. All right, has a front end loader on it. Does have ag tires. Now, if you're shopping for a tractor and it has ag tires, those are typically a little bit cheaper than like the R4 industrials. Um, so keep that in mind as well. 235 hours, again, two rear remotes on there. Let's see what it went for. What are you doing, Courtney? 4044M, beautiful. Love this machine right here. I don't need to sell this cheap, so why am I? Here you go, guys. $22,999. Insane deal. Dang, that's a screaming deal. Mm. It is tough to relive some of this stuff, I tell you. 2032R, 170 hours, loader mower on it. Another 2032R, 280 hours, loader mower. Basically, it's twin. Let's take a look. We've got twins here, guys, okay? 2032Rs, these are the old style, the classic style of 2032R. Man, I can't wait to see what the prices are today on, on these machines that you guys are paying. Leave a comment down below, I'm curious to know. All right, next up, a BX23S, all right? So the subcompact, it's got the loader on it. The BX23S has the backhoe on it too. This one also has the belly mower, low hours on it. Let's take a look. BX23S. You know, this is not getting any easier for me. Was nineteen nine ninety nine. Not anymore. What do you think it is now? Seventeen nine ninety nine. There you go. Okay. Oh, I remember this one. I still don't know how I, why I did this. That's that's a good way of putting it. John Deere ten twenty six R. It was two thousand eleven, two thousand twelve. So it's older. Only had 183 hours on it. It looked brand spanking new. Loader, belly mower, and the three bin material collection system on the back with the power flow on there. So just, just cherry. This one went for a steal. I, I don't remember who bought this one, but man, they could make some good money reselling that today. Oh man, I don't feel good about this one. 1026R. It was $14,999. Good value, man. This thing has under 200 hours on it. Auto connect mower deck, quick attach, bucket and loader. Three bin material collection system. 12, nine, nine, nine. Oh man. You see that? You see that? Oh, I can't even show my face. 1025 R, a little bit higher hours, 580 hours. If I recall, I took this one in on trade. Still, good looking tractor, low hours overall. Front end loader, belly mower. Another absolute steal of a deal. Okay. 1025R was 12999. Now, hmm, 11999. You see that? 11999. Nuts. Woo. All right, folks. So that is a look back in time. 36 short months ago, although. There was a few months in there that seemed pretty darn long, but uh, 
Prices are still going up, okay? I'm, I'm not getting price decreases from any of my suppliers on tractor attachments. I don't see price decreases from any of the, the OEMs that are out there. And that could be in the tractor world, that could be in the, the appliance world, the vehicle world, whatever it is. The, the lumber world, that does fluctuate a little bit, I suppose. I'm told they're going back up though. But the point is, is that things just don't get cheaper over time, right? Just like your dad or your granddad used to pay a nickel for a loaf of bread, you know? That's, that, those days are long gone, it's not coming back. And, I think this helps kind of paint the picture of I'm saving for a tractor, I just need a couple more years, right? Well, you wait a couple more years, you're gonna be saving more and more money that you have to save up to buy and afford that tractor because those prices are gonna keep going up. And so you can look at this in a different way. What inflation really means is that your dollar is gonna be worth less tomorrow than it's gonna be worth today. And you gotta be careful with, with how you use your money, but if you can borrow at 0% on somebody else's dime, like on John Deere's dime or Kubota's dime or whoever else, at today's value, well, that could work to your advantage. You know, and so what this really shows is how prices just keep going up. And the last few years, they did certainly accelerate, but inflation constantly happens. It's so rare to have deflation going, going the opposite direction that you just really can't count on it. But you can bank on prices going up. I'm still getting price increases from suppliers, but it's more of the, just the typical annual price increase that's always coming into play versus three or four price increases in one calendar year, which we saw during the pandemic. But this kind of ties into maybe your planning and, and thinking about buying a tractor in the next year or two and you're saving up money, maybe you want to pay cash for it. In a year or two down the road, you're gonna to have to save up that much more cash because it's gonna cost more at that point. And is there a benefit to buying at 0% now versus using your own cash? Because at this point, you can buy now while it's cheaper than it is in a couple of years, and you're also not using your cash, you're using somebody else's cash. There are a couple of catches that come along with this. It's more complex than that, and, and you know, I'm not your financial consultant. So I'm just giving an opinion here on how I kind of go through the process myself when I'm buying a new piece of equipment like this JCB, like that Ranger, like any of the tractors that you see around here that I use. And so you'll see this on forums. Sometimes uh, folks are shopping around for tractor prices and I always encourage you, if you're going to John Deere, shop the John Deere dealers, not just one, because you're gonna be surprised at how much pricing can vary. Same thing if it's Kubota, same thing if it's whoever else you're, you're talking to. But get multiple numbers so you can see what the field is kind of working with out there. But you're also gonna see differences in the, the terms of financing, okay? And, and as an example, I'll have somebody send me um, their price that they can get for 0% financing for 60 months or 0% financing for 72 months or 84 months, whatever it is. And it's still 0%, but somehow the machine price went higher for the longer term. And so those dealers are just building in interest in a way into the, the price of the machine, right? And maybe they're not taking as many discounts. At the, at the end of the day, it's all coming down to the dealer has to make a certain amount of money. Same thing with me, right? Everything comes down to you got to make profit or you're not going to be in business. But just go in there as a, an educated consumer knowing the game that's being played, right? That don't have the, the wool pulled over your eyes. Know that if you're paying a higher price for a longer term, that means you're, you're just paying your interest kind of built into the price of the tractor and it's not showing up as a separate line item on your monthly bill. You know, and, and I've mentioned uh, my buddy down the road, Dave, he's just recently bought a Kubota L6060, beautiful tractor. His plan originally was to just use his cash and pay for the tractor, but the 0% financing, not having to use 60, 70 grand, whatever it is, out of his own pocket right now, let Kubota handle that and just paid off chunk at a time. I did that when I bought a 3046R. And in fact, when I bought that, I sold it a couple of years later and I lost, I don't know, like one or $2,000. That was it after having it for a year or two. And that's pre pandemic. Okay. And that's just because of what inflation does over time. It's going to help these tractors hold their value. And so while you are paying that debt down, the tractor is not going down at the same rate, right? So you pay a $30,000 loan down to 15,000, your tractor's most likely, unless you did something crazy to it, gonna be worth way more than 15 grand. So, you know, you gotta bear all the stuff in mind, work the numbers, see what makes sense to you, but there's a lot of folks out there buying a machine for the first time, maybe getting a loan for the first time, and they don't know any better. So you gotta give them the information from somebody who 
I don't have a stake in that game. I, I don't. You know, I just want you to know I've done it myself. A lot of you guys watching have done it too. So if there's another angle to think about, then help them out and leave a comment with what they should be thinking about. But on that note, I do sell tractor attachments. So when you buy that tractor, think about us, all right? Give us a shot. We sell all sorts of stuff for the front end loaders and the three point hitch. We ship all over the country. You can get rewards. You can get, at least right now, that 0% APR financing for qualified buyers. But we have a lot of good stuff. So goodworkstractors.com. And if you enjoyed today's video, we want you to tag along, see what's going on around the business, around my shop. Hit that subscribe button down below. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon. Alrighty folks, and so the winner of the Snow Pusher giveaway, we went through it, had over 1,500 comments. You guys had a lot of fun. You really enjoyed it. Joey Sawdust is our winner, so I am gonna reach out to him too. Do need to go through a verification process to make sure that you are who you say you are. We get a lot of scammers out here, all right? And in any contest whether or giveaway, whether it's for me or somebody else, or even just a regular video, if you get a response like a text me on Telegram or some other suspicious looking email, don't respond to that cell phone number in there, the text me on Telegram or WhatsApp or whatever it is. Don't do it, okay? So you can email me directly if you wanna find out, but if, you, if it seems suspicious, it probably is. Again, congratulations, Joey, and stick around. We have another contest, another giveaway coming up. A lot of fun, it's one of my favorite products. You're gonna to wanna to know what it is. Yeah.